Mum's back in the kitchen and that means we're going to be cooking a little classic French dish. Ma, what are we cooking today? A very classic and very traditional dish. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the oldest in France uh, back 1651, so it's, a, it's an old one. Mm -hmm. And it is one of the signature dish of all our mums and grandmother and great grandmothers. Mm -hmm. So very old, very traditional, very French. What's it called? Boeuf à la mode or boeuf mode. It's a pot roast, mm -hmm. simple as that. Now, what cut of meat have you got here? It's the round, the round beef. Mm -hmm. It's a part uh, that is located just behind the rump stick. All right, let's get started. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of oil. What else? Butter. Butter, okay. The butter usually gives a good coloration to the meat, which mm -hmm. uh, the French usually put butter in there. Uh, yes, <laughs> particularly if it's an old school dish. Yeah. And you can see it's old school because it has the beef, onions, carrot, very minimal ingredients, but you will still get lots of flavour because oh, yes. you've got a nice big piece of meat. And what's this over here, Ma? This is half a pig trotter. Ooh, I know, it's not for everyone. It's totally optional, you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. But for me, I reckon it gives uh, such a tremendous flavour to the whole dish mm -hmm. that I love my pig trotter in it. <laughs> if you don't find any pig trotter, you can yep. put a bit of pork belly yep. or you can put nothing at all if yep. you want. All right, meat goes in. It goes in. Yeah, oh, love that. And we're going to put a bit of salt. And this is not a dish where you would use fillet of beef, as you can oh, no. see. Yeah, you, oh, it's, no. it's no, because I think when you see that, you go, oh, that looks like a, a nice tender piece of meat. But this is a secondary cut of beef, and it's fantastic for those slow braises like we're doing here. So what are you doing there, Ma? A bit of salt and pepper? A bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, okay. and it's a big piece of meat, so you can go quite heavy on the salt and pepper. Okay, so while it's browning, can yep. you start chopping the onions, please? Can do. So one large onion. This is the type of food that I grew up on. On a Sunday afternoon, you'd put this on and yeah. this would be dinner for the whole family. Yes. Inexpensive, yet super and tasty. And yet super tasty. Okay, so that's nice and gold. Mm -hmm. Off it goes. Okay. And then in, you put the onion in. Okay. Lovely. Ooh. Onions and butter. We love it. And then you give me the little pig trotter. All right, so the little pig trotter. Here it is. Uh, why are you adding pig trotter to this? For the flavour, number one. Yes. And number two, normally it is quite gelatinous and mm -hmm. it uh, helps to thicken the juice at the yeah. end. Mum, you see, use a calf trotter that's much bigger than that and it yep. is more gelatinous, but can't find any in <laughs> Australia. So we have to <laughs> just settle with a bit trotter. I think we should start to chop the carrots okay. and the garlic and then add it to that. So it seems like quite a lot of carrots here. Yeah, but that's what you need because it is very, it's going to give you a very sweet taste to your, mm. uh, to your dish. It's a beautiful, nice yeah. flavour. Uh, do you want me to help you to chop some yes, uh, no. Two carrots some for carrots. you. Yeah. This kind of cooking in France, you very rarely see it anymore unless you go into a French family's home. Well, people haven't got much time, you know, yeah. these days, so you, you need time or you, you need uh, some pressure cooker or something like that, you yeah, know, to so speed it up. to speed it up. I guess because it's just super old school, right? It's not as trendy anymore to do these dishes, but well, maybe comes you back. can make it, it, it trendy. No, 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 I mean, it is coming back. In France, you just still love it, especially winter are long. Yeah. And it's it's a nice dish in winter, you know, mm. you just cook all afternoon. and. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's getting popular as well. It's like the, the, the pig trotter. Uh, uh, people love that now. <laughs> there you go, you've heard here, pig trotters coming into fashion again. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Nearly lot. there. It's about 500 grams of yeah, carrot. Yeah, 500 to 600 grams of carrot. We have some white wine. Gee, that's like a whole bottle there, Mark. Yeah, you pour. <gasps> Lots of wine. Voila. There it goes. Nice. We can put our beef back into mm -hmm. the pot. Mm. The carrot. Okay, carrots in now. You've got to follow the order. Look at the colours. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to add a bit of tomato paste. I just yep. mix it up like that. And then the bouquet garni. Okay. Enfin, don't forget the garlic. Garlic, I'll chop that I'll for chop you. Chop that for me. All right, garlic. Garlic. And we are going to cut a piece of uh, baking paper to put on top. Okay. What do you call this in French? A cartouche. A cartouche. Very chef <laughs> There we go. And why are we adding the cartouche? So it keeps it nice and moist mm -hmm. and it does not burn the top, so it would be nice. Okay, lid goes on and how long are we going to cook this in the oven for? Two hours. Yes. At 170 and after which we will reopen it and we will add our potatoes. Oh, so one hot 
delight. One pot delight, exactly right. Okay, off to the oven. Open. Open. Oh. Mm. oh, you should smell that. This is sublime. It not only smells like my mother's kitchen, but also my grandmother's kitchen. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful, huh? That's why we love cooking, yeah. right? Because it's all about memories, and this is what you get when you cook these yeah. very simple dishes. This is so tender now, but it'll still hold its shape as yeah. we slice it. And we did add a little water in there. You could add stock, but water works Perfect. well. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Just, you have to just check whether it needs a bit of water or not. Yeah. So I'm going to put the veggies around and put the meat in the middle. Yeah, so this is definitely a sharing style thing. It's not plated up into portions. Place it in the middle of the table. Let everyone dig in. The French way. The French way, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And Ma, let's have a look how tender this is when we cut it. Like butter, right? Should be. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Look yeah. at that. Oh, so man. tender. You could almost shred this, but the style of this is to it's still nice, be able yes. to cut it because it is a pot roast. And look at this is almost falling apart. Oh, lovely. And look at those carrots. They've really held their shape. The pork. Ah, alors, what do you want to do with the pork? I would eat it. Would you? Definitely, yeah. that yeah. was in Mama's plate. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm happy not to share it with everyone, so. Uh, you know I love it too. We'll have to fight for uh, it. OK. <laughs> You'll have to put it on the dish. Just, just keep it aside for, yeah. for you and I. Very okay? nice. Yeah. And they're kifla potatoes. They're really good. Yeah, they'll help their shape completely. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to get this roast and we're going to place that okay. in the centre. Just like, like that. that. Just rearrange that. And I'll cut that parsley. Roughly, Ma? Well, yes, but not too rough. <laughs> OK. More refined, then. I'm going to drizzle this lovely juice. Mm, look at that. It just needs a small amount of sauce. It doesn't need to be swimming no, in no, it, no, does no. it? Yeah. Th this is really nice, yes. Mm. And then a final garnish of parsley. Sprinkle that over the top. There we go. Voila. A truly nostalgic French dish. The taste of home right there, a la Mama Francoise.